Welcome, I'm Catherine Paquet. And now we will discuss the email security appliance listeners. The listeners on the email security appliance can be public or private listeners. This is the email pipeline slide that we saw during a previous recording. I intend to use actually the email pipeline uh, almost all the recording when I started recording just to help you visualize what portion of the email security appliance are we going to tackle. So now what we're going to be tackling is the listener. When we talk about the email security appliance listener, we're talking about a function on the ESA that listens on port 25. And the reason that it listens on port 25, it's actually, it's a SMTP daemon running behind that. It's a SMTP server. So we will tackle, discuss, how do we have the ESA listening and what's happening when it's listening on either one or two listeners. This is another slide that we will see recurring in all of the, most of the recording just to help you understand from the GUI what portion of the configuration are we going to tackle. This time we're going to be tackling listeners which are part of the network configuration. So what is a listener? I started talking about that in a previous recording. I mentioned that in the world of ESA, it's a little bit different than for us of us who comes from a background of routing or switching. When we talk about routing and switching, we have our Ethernet interface, and that Ethernet interface receives an IP address, and voila, that's our gigabit zero zero on a firewall or a router. In the world of ESA, it's a little bit different. In the world of, a, yeah, of, the world of uh, ESA, we have actually the port. So when you go back, actually, and you have a look at your configuration at the GUI, or you go and have a look at the configuration at the CLI, very often you'll see data one, data two. We're thinking here of the Ethernet interface. On that Ethernet interface, we have to go and attach an IP address. That function in the ESA is called the IP interface. And if we want that IP interface to start listening for incoming mail, whether the email, the, the mail is arriving from the internet or arriving from our exchange server inside our corporate network, we are listening. The moment we're listening on port 25, we call that actually a listener. So a listener is basically when you have actually an IP interface that is bind to a physical interface, and we start listening on, typically would be port 25 because we're dealing with SMTP here. So let's talk about public versus private listener. So we know that the ESA function is to be an email gateway. So if you're an email gateway, you're receiving incoming email, again, typically on port TCP 25. There's two types of listeners that we can have. When you are a listener, if you're listening on port 25, you can be either a public or a private listener. A public listener will receive email, typically it arrives from the internet. A private listener will always receive messages arriving from your internal mail server. Now, why did I say over here for a public listener that, that most of the time you're receiving email from the internet? Well, we'll see a case a little bit later on. What about if you have only one listener? It has to receive email from the internet and from our exchange server. But let's say you have an implementation where you have two listeners, one pointing to the inter internet, the other one pointing on the inside network. Well, the one pointing to the internet would be called your public listener. The one pointing to your exchange server would be called the private listener. So we have a case here with two interfaces. With two interfaces, we have, we remember, we have our layer two. So let's take, let's say, my outside facing listener. So my layer two will be my data two interface. My layer three configuration, which is to give an IP address, is what we call IP interface. We called it public net. So your IP interface, not only are you giving them an IP address, you're giving them also a name. And to that, we're going to turn on, actually, the listening function on TCP port 25. And we will have this particular listener will give it the name 
inbound. So the inbound mail listener is using the interface public net, and the public net IP interface is running on top of your data to interface. So we like to separate, if possible, our listeners because we can have different security policies from my outside to my inside. Policy enforcement, the reporting, the management. You know, for reporting, we could say, hey, just give me statistics regarding my listener inbound mail. So we just have a little bit more granularity when we are using a public and a private listener, two listeners. But, you know, it's feasible also to have only one listener. So in this particular case, we'll have our only data two. We don't have a second interface, only one that will be passing email. So um, this is the firewall over here. So this guy, actually, my data two, which is as only one lis li listener. My listener is called my mail interface. It's dealing with the inbound mail arriving from the internet. It's also dealing with my outbound mail, mail that would be arriving from my groupware server going out. The ESA can also be used as your enterprise gateway. So let's say inside your corporate network, for whatever reason, you have a note outbound mail server or so I say a corporate email server, and maybe you have another one, another type of servers over here. So your email security appliance can actually receive inbound traffic. Uh, so let me do that again. L outbound traffic email from your corporate servers can be multiple corporate servers to go out. And also inbound. You can receive email actually addressed to uh, your users node.cisco.com and other users, which would be just cisco.com, and your email security appliance would be able to decide on which of the two email servers to forward the mail. So what have we seen in this section, in this recording? We discussed actually the fact that we need to have a listener. We mentioned how a listener is actually a layer four device listening typically on port TCP 25. That listener itself is sitting or using an IP interface. And that IP interface, which is layer three, which is the name of an interface and an IP address attached to it. And that IP interface itself is actually associated with a physical interface, data one, data two. And we also saw that we can have a public listener and a private listener, one facing the internet, the other one facing the corporate network. And it's also possible, if you have to, to have only one listener. In this case, that one listener will be talking to both your, the outside email arriving and also to your inside groupware server. So thank you very much for listening to this recording.